church tonight, but I really want to make this quick video. Just this quick video to kind of explain a few things that I've been learning along the way and I think will help other people. Um, one of the things is about identity. I, I think, to be honest, I've struggled with identity. Um, not that I didn't know who I was. It was more so knowing who I am, but not truly being confident in it. And I think that that's something that a lot of people struggle with is you feel so much in you. You know the woman or the man that God has put in you to be, to become. You can feel it so strongly. God reminds you of who you are all the time. You go through so many changes and you learn so many things and you're just gathering all this wisdom. Yet it seems difficult to really push that person out. It seems difficult to really become to walk in your true identity. And it's not always, you know, the enemy's fault. It's a lot of the times we just, we fear. It's a change. Like when we go from being in this world to being a woman or man of God, it's a change. It's, everything's changing. We're not like the world. We don't do things the way the world does. We have this, you know, image that we want to hold up because, you know, we're made in God's image. So we have to hold this image up. and. You know, really, you can't do that without the Holy Spirit. But it's just about the confidence of it all. It's just walking into it confidently because as you're transforming and changing, people will see a different side of you. People will see a different personality. Um, you'll like different things. You'll, you know, want to hang out with different types of people. Like things are just changing, shifting, even like your outer appearance. Everything will change. And sometimes you just got to like not really care what people think and I think I struggled with that for a long time is being afraid of what people would think of me if they saw me be who I truly want to be who the person God has placed in me I'm more so someone who I, I wouldn't say I'm quiet <laughs> a lot of people think that I'm quiet but I usually am quiet when I'm in deep thought and when I really am just not familiar with my environment but for the most part I'm I love to be me. I love to do the things that I love to do. I don't like when people put me in a box. That's what frustrates me is when people start to put me in a box and label me and expect me to do things this way. And, you know, it, I, I feel restricted because I want to be myself. I'm very creative. I love to do a lot of things. I love to help people. I'm this type of person I help and I don't expect anything back in return. That's just what I love to do is just to help and to give what God has placed in me. That is just who I am. <laughs> but I think being confident in your identity is so important because when God comes to you and he wants to use you and he asks you to do things that might seem uncomfortable, he asks you to say things or, you know, he wants you to be yourself. It's uncomfortable sometimes because you don't know how someone might react to it. And you have to have this mentality of you're not here to please people. You're not here to do what people want you to do to please and fit in someone's box so that they're comfortable with you. No, sometimes you'll make people uncomfortable. You'll make people not like you. They didn't like Jesus. But as long as you are obedient to what God is asking you to do. And I think that that has been something I struggled with only because I'm like, Lord, like, this is not the way people do things. This is out of alignment. You know, people are used to being on this one track thing and you want me to just come in and just disrupt everything. And it's just like, Lord, <laughs> this is going to be uncomfortable. And sometimes, you know, we're not always going to be comfortable. But we have to know that God is with us, that he's supporting us, that he's going to use us in ways that we never thought we could be used. And we just have to trust him and be confident in him and be confident in who he has called us to be. And so identity is just one of those things where you just have to be confident in the Lord and walk in it unapologetically, unapologet uh unapologetically <laughs> oh gosh but yeah you just got to be confident and I think back you know last year and the year before when I started doing 
a lot of the social media and it went up very quickly. And then it was just like, okay, it's not really where I wanted to be. And it kind of went down because I kind of listened to all of the voices, the noises around me that kind of were telling me, you know, you know, you can't do this or you're doing, going through this and why are you putting so much out there? And it's just like, it's helping somebody. Why am I being afraid to help somebody? Why am I being afraid to encourage somebody because somebody else is going to condemn me or talk about me? So I had to really fix my mindset on that and take a step back and realize that I'm not here to please other people. Yeah, you might see, you know, the things that I'm discussing, the things that I may have overcome, my testimonies, but my testimonies is not really, like what I went through is not who I am. What I've gone through it is things that I've overcome. I'm an overcomer. That's who I am. <laughs> I'm not the one who's stuck in those difficult situations. And so I think we have to realize that when God calls us, answer the call. And when you answer the call, just be obedient to what he tells you to do. That's it. And do it without fear. Do it in excellence and love. And God will help you. He'll lead you and he'll guide you. So if anyone is struggling with their identity, um, and you're afraid of what people will think of you, just know that God loves you. It doesn't matter what they think. It matters what God thinks of you. And if God is asking you to do something that might seem a little out of the norm, just step out on faith and do it. Like a lot of people don't realize, you know, there's certain lifestyles that the Holy Spirit will give us and he'll tell us to do this or to do that. And for most Christians, it might not seem like a big deal, like fitness or, you know, healthy eating or, you know, finances, business investing. It might not seem like a big deal to people because not every Christian can really find God in those things, but God is in everything. But when God asks you to do things in that way and gives you ideas and, and an innovative mind to start building and creating, run with it. Just take it and run with it because God is doing something and he's going to have his way in every industry. He's going to have his way in every market. God is going to move and he's going to use you and he's going to use what he's put in you to start doing things in this earth. So be confident. Don't allow your fears to cripple you. Just move, move forward. Oh, let's go.